How you doing? I'm Louis Camino with Enviro Escape LA. We're here in Southern California, actually in Palos Verdes. It's an interesting job we're doing, and it's got to be breakthrough job that we're doing. The first of its kind here in the area. Now I know what you're looking at. It's just another one of our Enviroscape's uh, screen bed waterfall koi pond. You guys have seen these for many years. Mike's been putting them on YouTube. What makes this particular job interesting? All the stone that you're seeing that is built up that used to make this stream and waterfall came out of this hole that is now the koi pond. So instead of buying stone from the local stone yard, having that carbon footprint, having it trucked from the quarry to the stone yard, to the stone yard up here to PV, all this Palos Verde stone was harvested locally right here in the area that I'm standing on, that you're viewing. Interesting factor, this shelf right here, this PV stone shelf, 100% natural. As the project was being excavated, it was discovered here. So obviously it's been here since uh, the earth was here. <laughs> so an extremely long, long time. Now I, I know when I said it's just another koi pond that Enviroscape does, what separates this one from the rest of them? We're gonna take a look at our filters. If you take a walk with me around the pond here, the boys just got done planting the, the plants here, the beautiful Japanese maple provides a nice contrast. But if we take a walk around, you're looking at these vertical gardens here. And of course, uh, aeroponics, something fairly new, uh, so to speak, it's really taken a life form of its own the past couple years. Everybody's getting into aeroponic gardening. So not only are these gonna be veggie towers here with kale, lettuce, basil, squash, zucchini, all that other stuff. Where are we gonna get nutrients from these beautiful vertical gardens for these plants to grow from our koi pond? We're actually harvesting that water, that nutrient-rich pond water that is gonna be down below that the koi fish are gonna keep maintained for us with a steady diet. We're pumping that up and that is actually feeding our three vertical gardens here. So you probably noticed the plumbing system here. We have an intake with a red ball valve on it. That actually feeds these ponds here. If you take a look from the pond, it's pumping water up here into this vertical tower. That's actually pond water right here. So in a few days, it's gonna be full of nutrients once we get our koi fish in here. From that, it then discharges back into the pond. So providing a continuous loop of water. So typically, when you water a, a veggie or any plant for that matter, the plant will harvest the water that comes through its root zone and that water is gone forever. Here, we're putting that water, the koi water, koi pond water full of nutrients down the cylinder. The roots are gonna harvest the water that they need. The rest of the water will then return to the pond, providing a closed loop system. Estimates on water usage, they say that you save about 90% of your water as you would to, to, to a traditional garden versus. So something to think about. Uh, we used a lot of uh, the same products. We always use ProEco products down below for our pumps, for our, our pressure filters and things like that, a gravity fed filter, auto fill as well. So the homeowner is going to be getting many years of usage, not only from enjoying his beautiful koi pond, but he's also going to be growing and harvesting vegetables for years to come. So when you think sustainability, think Enviroscape LA.